Yo, what's going on guys? It's DM Doppler here. Got the Lego N94. Definitely a very interesting gun. And the reason why I wanted to do a long form video on this is for a few reasons. But main reason is because of the magazine and how weird it is. You know, it's curved. But a lot of Lego gun YouTubers who have made the N94 don't even cover it. I mean, my different username did famously, I guess, but the way that he did it was he had it so with the magazine, it just went in normally, but then on this side, it had some studs right here that made, that made it so the magazine was curved. I didn't do that, however, because as most of you should hopefully know, that's not how it works on the original gun. It is actually made so the gun can stick out sideways, or the magazine can stick out sideways. My bad. And so I guess I will just go and show you guys how I did that. So first of all, I used some hang down pieces, you know, like this top piece, that just so it could make it so there was something that the magazine could hold on to, make it more sturdy, and also so there just wasn't a huge gap right there. Then on the other side, I did something similar but I made a little chamber using t these pieces like this to make a little chamber so then the magazine could go inside and just hang out in there. And then at the very top, I used some angled slope pieces to also hold it in place. And that's how my magazine works. I'm just doing this here. I'm actually, where did I put that? Hang on. Here, I'll use a flashlight so you guys can kind of just see all up in there and kind of see what I've done. Hopefully you guys can get the idea, but because I don't really want to destroy this entire gun, but that is how the magazine works. So I guess I could give you guys some history about this. So. The AN-94 was a Russian-produced gun that, that was try, or that was made so it could replace the AK-74. And so, basically what the Russians wanted was a very advanced firearm that could fire insanely fast for special forces. And the way that they did this is they had some parts of the gun that were modified that wouldn't be on a normal gun, like having the magazine angled. A lot of people believe, including my different username, believe that the magazine is curved right so it could be easier for reloading, but that's not the case. It is actually made that way so it can fire faster and it has an easier time rechambering. And another thing is, is the muzzle device, which I put a decent amount of detail in, but that I don't remember exactly what it's used for, but I think it's for pushing more gas back into the chamber to make it fast or fire faster. Um, along with some other stuff, um, you guys can just go and look up forgotten weapons on YouTube and just look up the AN-94 AN and they have a whole video just completely breaking it down. Yeah, they even have another video of completely disassembling it. So if you guys want that, I'll here, I'll even link it in the link both of those I'll link both of those videos in the description but yeah um, some things I did want to do with this model that I didn't do so with the barrel I wanted to make it so it could go back I did actually make it so it could go back but it just ended up being really unstable and would break a lot so I just figured to make the recording process easier that I would just cut it and so normally on the gun, whenever you pull the um, handle or the charging handle back, the barrel will move kind of like the or very similar with the Lynx um, uh, bullpup 50 BMG. But yeah, some things, but yeah, there's that because now there's just this giant chamber in here, which is just empty. And I wish I would have went into this. Um, with, um, I wish I would have went into this with the idea of not making the barrel move because then I could have made this not so tall because this thing is really tall and this is also definitely the heaviest gun I have ever built. 
probably even heavier than the Lynx. I've I've built the Lynx before, aka the Signal 50 from Modern Warfare 2. Um, another thing I wish I would have done is I wish I would have made this so um, the stock could fold, but I just ended up not doing it to save on pieces. So that's mainly it. I've already covered the. Um, you know, I've shut off everything that this Lego gun can do in shorts, or by making a short. So, yeah, I'll link all those videos. I'll link the short down in the description, so if you want to go see it. But, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you later.